uh, dear students so today we will discuss about uh, uh, pandas library in python and we will see that what are the different features available in the uh, pandas library and the common mistakes what we do uh, usually while, while performing the coding in the in the python pandas library so uh, in the pandas library usually uh, what we have it uh, one of the most important feature is about the data frame so uh, how the data frame is is different from the other kind of uh, uh, numeric value or string value or the booner value or how it is different from the dictionary or list of tuples or n dimensional array so basically data frame is a, a structure is a structure like in the excel so how the data looks like in the excel so it is it will give you the same feeling that when you want the data to be presented in the form of a, a tabular form like a spreadsheet like data structure and it contains a collection of uh, different columns you have it and you have different rows and you can store like numerical values like uh, one two three or uh, or it's uh, real values or integer values okay. you can you can store strings in that one you can store like you know boolean values in it okay um, <clears throat> Uh, unlike uh, like you know CDs, like CDs is a different uh, with the series uh, 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 series a uh, different structure with respect to data frame and um, uh, the data frame data frame has a distinct row and columns indices over there and there are many ways to create a data a data frame you can create from the dictionaries you can create from the list of tuples and even you from uh, n dimensional array num with the numpy library so let's see how we create and we will go directly to the uh, to python libraries and see that how it is created so uh, first of all you need to import pandas and give a nickname to the to the uh, to the variable which is pd okay and then you can import uh, specifically data frame from the from the pandas so uh, uh, sometimes uh, we some of the people for example they they run it like this one and uh, it also works but it's it's better it's recommendable to uh, to write the full import over here right so if you see over here uh, for example if you want to create a data frame for cars so we take a help of the dictionary so usually how i know it's a dictionary so the curly brackets are for the dictionary so if you see over here curly bracket starts from here and curly bracket ends from here so this is one of the common mistake which students they do it they forget the the ending bracket so this this is very important that when you start uh, with the bracket curly bracket you must end with a curly bracket this is important okay and the dictionary most other important thing is this uh, full column full column is important and uh, if you want to make if you want to uh, write a column in a in a dictionary so first you need to write uh, write uh, the first uh, column name so this is like make right and then you must enclose with the with a single quotation this is very very important right and then full column okay and after that one uh, you need the data in, inside that one so the, the data is like for example uh, make is ford honda toyota and tesla like in, in model you have a victoria accord camry and model s and uh, msrp like retail price suggested retail price is like different prices over there so for the make one dictionary item is this one for the model the dictionary item is this one and for the suggested retail price the dictionary item is this one right so these are the different prices in dollars okay so how i can how can i create a data frame from the dictionary so this like dictionary data items if i print it so it will be uh, for example if i want to print it so how it will look like so say print cars okay so it will uh, look in a different way okay now see over here the difference between if i print the dictionary directly it like you know it shows me like you know straight forward in the line outward but uh, if i want to print that one uh, uh, when when i when when i assign uh, this one the, the dictionary into the data frame it gives me a very good look uh, like for example i say cars i want this cars data into the data frame like you know beautify this one so this is a step for creating the from the dictionary and this is a comment so it doesn't execute so you will not see in the output this sentence but it is just for my uh, memory or just for my mm, as a as a hint for me and when i when i in, when i put all this data into a new variable for example car data variable so or i can say a car 
uh, frame data frame okay and if I change over here I must change over here as well frame okay now now let's see how if I run it okay so yeah so there is no difference same thing but you must like you know have so this is like you know your your own variable these two are your own variable you can name whatever you like it right so this is how we create the data frames from a uh, uh, from the dictionary okay now see over here uh, if there is another uh, yeah this is the same one I just like you know just to repeat it and see how things work mm, now yeah now if I want to uh, see uh, what is the index for that one so since I change the uh, that one uh, let me let me like you know uh, make it same to be coherent with the with the, the subsequent data okay so let me run this one again for for you yeah okay so this is done okay now if I want to see the indices indices means like you know the address of this one so um, so what I need to do I just need to print it and then say car data or dot index so it will show me the address address means what is the starting of that one for example it start with a zero and there are like you know uh, it stop with a four and the jump is uh, one so there's a one jump over here so from zero to one and one jump from zero to from one to two is another jump from two to three another jump and from three to four the last jump so it will show you the range that how your index is ranging so if you see over here it's a it's a it's a it's a jumping over here so now you see over here uh, okay and then you need to uh, find the index of that one for example uh, columns okay what are the different columns over here so if you want to show only the column without the data uh, so you can ask them card data dot column so what it will give you it will give you uh, like you know like the this this is the output so you have like three columns over there it will show you three columns and also the, of the data type so the data type is object y because it has a numerical value it has a, a categorical value means like you know text value and and it has like you know so mixed value because of the mixed value it it uh, calls it an object uh, and sometimes it can, it contains a function so that's why it calls as an object so this is also concept from object oriented programming oops we call it like object oriented programming and then uh, now see here is another example that uh, uh, how, uh, let's suppose we have another data frame and we see that we say that uh, uh, if you want to add some another column over here let's suppose dealership so we have before we have like you know um, uh, we want to create like you know air what is the air of that one so we say that we assigned the air in a, as all our manufacturing to 2022 so this will assign a new column in that one which is the air right and uh, and the index uh, and then, then we have another column which is called the dealership right and then in the dealership we we want to assign some different values like for example the dealership is for the courtesy ford for the another is a um, honda uh, honda capital honda and then have we have a spartan toyota and next the last one is for example not applicable right and then you show it so for data frame you don't need to write print uh, command you just need to say uh, you just need to write the, the the data frames variable and it will show you all the things so this is a good thing that it will save your time instead of writing this one from tuple list okay the tuple list is a bit different so tuple list uh, start from the uh, from the big bracket okay or uh, and it enters the big bracket okay and then you have like you know in the tuples tuples means rows so you put some rows over here so this is your let's suppose uh, your first row okay this is your second row and this is your third row okay and the column names these are like column names like air so and temperature and precipitate right so this is your like a column names so if I just want to print this one okay uh, like you know triple list okay tuple list okay so it should be different the output should be uh, different over here so now see over here it looks like this one but it is not like you know user friendly or it doesn't look like an excel sheet format so what we do it we insert this tuple list into what into a uh, into uh, into the data frame right so for example uh, if you want to print uh, column names okay and you will see that how it like you know looks so yeah so column name so this column name is different here and uh, the data is here right or you can uh, you can interchange it like this one 
but still uh, if i print it it will not uh, it will not look the as good as the data frames looks like so now see compare this output which is very like you know very normal and it's not presentable but when i when i when i just like you know frame it into a uh, uh, this one like for example in a in a data frame so in the data frame i need to put like a tuple list okay so this is my tuple list and then second thing is the columns name so this is like keywords over here and then you need to put the, uh, the your variable so this is your variable which you define over here right so the it this uh, function receive two arguments the first argument is the, the data so first you need to enter the data and then you need to enter Mm, the column names and then you need to uh, print it so it will give you in a in a better shape so this will be now in a in a better shape okay now uh, thirdly uh, okay just like for example yeah from uh, numpy for example if you have some data from the numpy uh, library uh, some random values for example if you want to have some um, uh, five rows and three columns which we see over here so I just want to have five rows and three columns and and I want the column names as x1 so and x2 and x3 and it will like you know randomly uh, give me data so uh, so every time I run it so the data will uh, will change or you see the data is changed if I run it again the data will change it again so every time I run the data will be changed over here so as I told you that in data frame you need to first put the data from the numpy random variable so how to get this one so npy.random.randin and then column name column name is there right so as I told you you don't need a print command just like like this one you don't need like this command okay although if you do it so I hope it should work but let's test it whether it's working or no yeah, it still works but we don't need it so my gosh right so no need for that one okay so this is right so we extracted from the dictionary uh, the data and then from the tuple list and then from the uh, from random variable from numpy library some random values over here okay and now we have some other uh, examples over here uh, for example if you just want to display only x2 so for example here is x2 over here so what is x2 0 0.39 because the value change because it's a random variable so value change now you see now you can compare the x2 values is extracted so you just need to tell that i need um, i need to just like you know x2 uh, variable data only okay and then after that one if you need the row 3 of the data only the row 3 of the data uh, of the data table so it will be the row 3 is like this one so row 3 is uh, if you see over here yeah this value so if you see the row 3 uh, i hope it is the same yeah so yeah one one point nine three uh, if you see over here one point nine three the second row element is zero point three eight and third row element is one point one eight five so this is and also um, the type so type means what is the type so usually the the data is like you know floating value floating sixty four means uh, it's a version sixty four there are thirty two version and sixty four so floating value is the value which is in points okay and then we have a uh, uh, for example specific elements if you want to access specific elements so this is the code for a specific elements so how can we access it for example if i need uh, um, uh, any anything with a location with a specific address like a specific point then i can have uh, it for example uh, victoria so like for example this one is uh, for example this is like uh, the first row and the third element so this is one two and the third element and it's the first row so in the first row and uh, third element what we have it so i got this one victoria right so uh, here you can see this is the row number okay and this one is the uh, the model so in the model i have this one uh, or in case if i say one comma two so in one comma two what i have it this is eight five seven zero so where is eight five seven zero this is my eight five seven zero okay this is my data over here <coughs> So we usually we start from zero. So zero, one, two, and three. Okay, and this is like you know zero and one, zero and one. So zero and one, right? And then we have like you know if we need a specific data from one to three. So this is then you have like you know one to three, and then you also need one to three. So you have like you know a range of when you need a range of data, then it's also possible with this uh, formula. So I location means like a location with respect to the address and then we have some two more examples over here so here is like you know size of that one so size you can see how many uh, like you know we have four rows and five columns okay so it, it shows you the size so with the dot 
this is the formula like you know with the data frame with the dot size and, and shape right shape is like you know, this is the matrix shape and the size is uh, 5 into